Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see different flavors of Perform. The last session, we have seen how to execute one paragraph at the same time, how to execute one paragraph for a certain number of times. Now, let us see this. I have declared a variable WSX, picture class X, just one character. Now, look at this, Perform loop paragraph. Perform this, I am using a word until, until WSX is equal to smaller or lower case X. So I'm instead of saying times, I'm saying until this condition is there. As long as this condition is false, that is the important point, okay? As long as this condition is false, this loop will be executed. So the meaning of until is evaluate this condition. If it is equal to false, again execute this. If it becomes true, exit. So inside the loop error, I'm saying type x to exit, then accept wx from the user. So if the user enters something else other than smaller x, it will keep on repeating the same thing. Let us execute this. Now I'm going to execute this. If you see here, it says type x to exit. Now I'm, I'm typing d. So d is not equal to small x. So it, it still has, it is looping through that same para. You have k. I'm typing even capital X. Capital X is not equal to small x. Now I'm going to press small x. Now it will exit out of the program. Now see it. Now it has come out. So this is another flavor of perform. As long as this condition is equal to false, this will keep on executing. There is one more flavor of perform. Let us see that also. Look at this. Now I have created para 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are 5 paragraphs. In each one I am just displaying I am in para 1, I am in para 2, para 3, para 4, para 5. I want to execute para 1, 2, 3, 4, one after the other. I have the option to say perform para 1 full stop, next line perform para 2 full stop. So I can write that way. But if a set of paragraphs are one after the other and I want to execute this, then this, then this, then this, you don't have to do multiple perform calls. All you need to do is perform para 1 through para 4. It will start with para 1, it will execute that, whatever is Appearing after that, it will execute that. Whatever it will, it, it appears there, it will execute that. Whatever next, it will execute, then come out. So right now I have said para 1 through para 4, but not para 5. Okay, let us execute this. See what happens. If you see here, I am in para 1, 2, 3, 4. I gave just one perform statement, perform para 1 through para 4. So it executed 4 paras, then it is coming to the next one. I am exiting. Okay, this is a very simple way of executing multiple paragraphs, okay, in one shot. Rather than writing four different performs, you are just saying one. But you need to be very careful. Right now, these four are appearing one after the other. If somebody inserts another paragraph in between and you don't want that to execute, then you cannot use this through. So you need to be very careful unless otherwise all those paragraphs appear one after the other continuously, one after the other, you cannot use this. But in many cases, if you divide certain code into multiple paragraphs and you want to execute them one after the other, it is very easy to say perform para 1 through para 4. So we have seen different flavors of the perform statement right here. So. This is one of the important features in COBOL to make sure that we are able to do modular programming. Now, what you see here, I will explain one more thing here. I have declared a variable WSX in the working storage division. All variables in COBOL, they are all global variables. So I can use WX here, here, anywhere in the program. There is nothing like a local variable and global variable in COBOL. All variables in COBOL are global. 
you can use those variables in any paragraphs within the same program. So you need to be careful. It is a flexibility as well as a place for vulnerability. So you need to be careful when you are dealing with uh, variables. So what we normally do is to make sure that your variables are clear rather than giving ws a x etc you have to give meaningful variable names like ws dash employee dash name so that it is very easy for you to locate them so with that we stop this session in this session we have seen perform until then perform through then we have seen all the variables are global in cobol program thank you